Well, I have a final question to the girls. We talked about like this whole thing about like trad wife and like men having the ability to support like a trad wife. Like he has to make at least 400K, right? So with this whole change in economy, how it was different from back then, like how before traditionally men made more, men were the primary bread ruiners. Now, as we head down more of a path where men and women are making more equal and the gender pay gap is diminishing. Do you guys still think that men should pay for dates? Um, I think it's maybe the way that like we were brought up to, to be like, oh, men have to pay for the first date. So it's like nice to see, but I, um, I wouldn't say every single date, right? Like I think the first one is kind of like maybe a, a given, right? Like, um that you would want to see them do that but i would say like when i would go on dates i would still offer to pay half because it's like oh uh maybe i don't see this going anywhere and i want to like uh be mindful of the fact that they took time out of their day to at least just like have like a meal with me so it's like oh i will still offer to pay for half of it and then we'll see where it goes um but i don't I think that yeah definitely in the beginning the first date i think it's we're used to why, why the first date though like why specifically the maybe i think it. it's like the like first impression right and i think it kind of goes back to like oh you want to see that a man can take care of you but what if he could just like pay his way in what do you mean by that where he just what pays pays like <laughs> an expensive dinner like as a first impression yeah. it looks good but then later on he abuses you physically whoa no that's <laughs> a big from? jump right there okay I, I understand where you're getting at though that, that's like, not really a first the, impression the... then right I mean, well i think it's just like monetary the... on how no exactly i think you. that's why I'm, i was just saying like uh, i think it's the way that uh we were brought up to <clears throat> to think like oh men pay pay for the first date and i think it's just like oh it makes you feel better about like continuing to interact with this person and the whole like it's a back and forth right like you kind of have to gauge because you spend more and more time with them you, you obviously from the first date you're not going to know everything about a person like i don't know if they're going to call you on a blocks number 57 times or something i don't it's know maybe <laughs> but yeah. you know okay. like it's the the you ha you want to make the best impression for the first date right like so that's why i'm saying like okay. oh that that in in itself would probably make um. the best impression and i'm not saying that the first impression is going to be set the tone for the whole relationship, but it does put you off on a better footing than n n like not doing it. Right? Okay. <laughs> what do you agree? Melissa, go ahead. <laughs> was it, oh, wait, is it specifically first date or just in general? Like, no, I think he's saying uh, dates, but I'm saying like, I yeah, think for dates me, I think in it's general. just the first one. That you could talk kind of, about like, first dates. Not well. relationships, like not in the relationships. You could talk about dates in general so, and then first okay. dates. Um, up to you. So I... I'm the type of person on the first date, like, if he, I've had a guy yell at me and make a scene at a Chinese restaurant. He's white. He was white, right? He made a, ch I told him, hey, you said that you needed to use the restroom. Like, oh, use the restroom. And I paid for half of the check on my side, and he got really mad. So there's a, that factor I'll go back to. So I have Scatterbrain, do apologize. Uh, my, my thing is, it's okay for a guy to pay for the first date, but I'm also going to offer. If you pay for the first date, I need to compromise. I'm going to be like, here's the deal. You pay for my dinner, I'm going to buy you a drink. Or I'm going to buy you oh, some yeah, dessert. Same, same. That's like what I'm going to do. However, Good. like, I've had the negative experience of that, but it's just like really just you have to gauge on like who you're on a date with. But um, I've been out of the dating scene for a very long time, but I recently like went on a date with this guy and he's the first guy for the very first time I've had unhealthy relationships and unhealthy dates very toxic men but i went outside of la and this man he had so much chivalry he he was like i'm gonna pay for the date but i understand who i know who you are and what you know there's women that are comfortable they want to feel something where they like i need to pay but he respected that but he's from he's like a valley country dude and he opened my door he um bought he paid for me without even like i and he would just open my door, pick me up out of his big old pickup truck and w put my shoes on and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, it's so foreign. This is like kindness. Oh, 
burns. <laughs> and like, oh my God, chivalry burns. I'm like, what do I do? I'm like, this is like too much for me. But so I like learned something and I'm like, holy crap. Like there's men out there that I would actually like, would treat a woman like traditionally going back to traditional. I'm not a traditional woman, but I went on a date with a traditional man. And it made me be like, you know what? I deserve, so those women, so I you, deserve. You now the, see like value in I it. I see value. I was like, it's okay for my upbringing. Our upbringing is like guys, like, oh, I can do Like my mom was like, you should always like guys pay for my date. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. But it's because going back to our, going back to all these unhealthy dates that I've had and, and guys expecting something from me because they paid for a date or all this stuff, I've had that experience. But I realized recently, like, I shouldn't, like, that those bad dates, you should let allow a space for men to show you that they're good and chivalrous. And they're a traditional men. Um, so, yes, I would let... <laughs> he's asking those, should men go, pay men, for the first I date? feel like men should pay for the first date, but allow some space. Like, if she's like me where she, or her, like, we want to pay for it, it's okay for the offer. But listen to it. You're like, okay, how about this? Here's a tip. I'll pay for the dinner, but um, you want to ca- buy me a pint later? Then we'll, we're even. I think that's, that's good. Yeah. Because it kind of so, sets up for but, like for more yeah. things. Because like, cause I'm the same way as her. It's like if they pay for the meal, then if we have dessert or drinks after, then I pay for that. Or he'll be yeah. like, oh, you could pay for the next My one. My question so is kind to of you, like, though. Like, is, do you think our society of our experiences like made us this way because we've the dating we can all agree the dating game is like shit right now for yeah, everyone for every yeah. demographic I've lived, I'm in the social group like and is is did society create us create us to be this way where we had to be on the defense mode because of all of our bad experience I feel like you know we're we're yeah. the generation that's kind of like stuck in the middle right yeah, where it's yeah. like a we're halfway in this whole like traditional like standpoint versus like a modern like but that's viewpoint. out of fear yeah. too because yeah, so, like, cause we, like do we owe them something we have to yeah. like switch with the times and, yeah. and i understand what you're saying is because um back then men were kind of like well if i'm providing you something you better provide me with something and usually that feels like it's sexual gratification right like or something, or something. And, I've, and we've yeah. got that yeah. i i don't know about your experience so if i have those experiences like they expect something from me and i'm just and then or they would get <sighs> mad that you're stern with your boundaries yeah like so i think yeah. um they feel we demasculated are, that's yeah like, demasculated like, because they, they can't they're like they're well, you, or sorry yeah, the wrong term but yeah. yes but it's like um like there are men that were are, they need to pay to grow, feel something yeah like they grow up in this and, whole like yeah. well men have to be the breadwinners they they have to provide X, or y, then Z. i'm not so, a man yeah so they feel some type said, of way yeah. when you're like not hey, you but the, yeah a lot like, of brainstorming uh, going on eh trying <laughs> so much brainstorming <laughs> no but like i think that that's why i say like oh the first date because i feel like we, we are stuck in this like half half of yeah being in this like traditional mindset yet gearing more towards a like modern mindset of dating so that's why i say the first date would be nice mm-hmm. but i also um it's am, like a default thought like oh yeah my God, what do, do but I also own that? i really yeah. fight really hard when i see yeah. that like i don't see this date going anywhere past the first date then I'll be like, no, no, for sure. I'm like, let's split it for sure, for sure. Because I, I, I don't want them to feel like they were being used in yeah, some I way. Because yeah. I, I know that, you, like, we've talked about how, like, there are some um, women that we know that they go on dates specifically for the free meal, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So it's kind of like, uh, that's my way of kind of combating that in, in the sense of like, oh, I don't want to feel like you, I've used you for your time or money. Um, and I did enjoy this experience that we have shared, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere further than that. So then that's why I'm like, oh, we, like I will really fight for let's splitting it. But if I do see that this is like something really nice that I might like consider like continuing, it is nice to see that they do pay on the mm-hmm. first date. Yeah. And I will say that like most men, I would feel they are very, cons- they are very appreciative when a woman like she offers to pay or if she Mm -hmm. pays for like something later on if she just doesn't do that much like with like paying just even like the smallest things or even giving that appreciation then the man would kind of like see that as like a knock to the first impression too so there's also a first impression to like men as well i mean yeah Mm -hmm. i know there's like outlier cases where 
the guy he would get mad he'd be like why'd you pay why'd you pay for this thing and yeah. he would want to pay for everything oh yeah that's like i feel but like that's toxic masculinity yeah i, I would feel <laughs> like oh, yeah if you can see the chinese lady her space when she he's like oh never mind tangent oh sorry okay yeah but, but just yeah like, it's i mean a culture I, th- it's a culture shock or it's like a boy shock is there a word that we should do a term boy shock male shock like male shock shock yeah <laughs> like he like came out and was like shocked he was like i know i know <laughs> what you mean but like i feel like not a lot of guys are like that more guys are more appreciative when like yeah. the girl offers to pay or like is, yeah that's actually like, kind of funny right? that, that story is kind of funny yeah Wait, yeah like i fun? like yeah. do you feel like you're more turned on when a girl like offers to pay or like she pays for something later uh I'm, yeah i'm a lot more i'd be a lot more impressed than angry yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that, that shows that a, you actually care. <laughs> I feel like maybe, like, it's toxic masculinity. Like, they're they're like, you're emasculating me. Like, how dare you? You don't think I can pay Did for this Did that guy have meal? a big ego? He, the thing is, I was very shocked. He's, he was like a cupcake. I called him cupcake. Cup- he was oh. very... S- no, 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 but no. Okay, no. He I've never not- heard that term. What is a cupcake? Okay, he Eat was not... Like like let, let me go back. Let me go back. Um, So, he was very... His demeanor was very sweet, and I was just like, oh, what's going on? You're very sweet. He was, like, a gentle giant. Maybe it was all a facade, though, like you said. No. He was paying his way in. Were you still talking to him? No, that was years ago. Early 20s. I'm I'm freaking single, like, so dead single. But um, early, uh, so he was a gentle giant, so I wasn't afraid. And I was like, okay. But the thing is where I drew the line is, like, we were the only ones left in this restaurant, and these, these old elderly Chinese lady needs to the ladies they need to go home to their children man why are you making a big huff huff puff <laughs> like us and I'm he came back and he was like he was standing up this lady's like so, like pointing at me like why did you he was making a sentence like dude um can we just uh I'm good was he yelling yeah he no he's oh. not yell. Uh, I take that back he wasn't yelling there's tone a voice oh, tone oh. you know when you like you're stern but you could be still be loud oh yeah, yeah. and like still be tone pretty much tone matters yeah. So I was like, hey, um, I paid for it. <laughs> Let's go. Did you do their half? Do you want me to cover you? I don't understand. Can we walk? Like, I, we were having a good date, but you just turned me off by doing that. Oh, he said that? Huh? Oh, or you said that? No, that like, in my mind, I was like, you just, like, turned me off. Oh. That you exploded mm. in front of everyone and we're the only, and the workers. And I'm respectfully asking you, like, are we going to go? Maybe maybe you paying for just your half, though, while but he's in the restroom? But in a very, I already no, warned no. him, though. I, by the way, I warned him. I was like, hey, I want to pay. He was like, no, we're good. I was like, oh. But no, but, like, I think, yeah. I think, okay, so, so. In his mind, though, you paying for your half while he's in the restroom kind of seems like you're rejecting him in a certain way. Like, yeah. oh, oh, while you're in the restroom, I'm just going to like pay that. for my portion so I can dip out of here. Even though you might uh, still be at the table. So mm-hmm. I think maybe huh, that okay. is where it was coming from. Not necessarily that he was So it's was a like, matter of respect is what you're saying? Yeah, so maybe it, it might have been different if, like, she came to the table, we're both sitting here, and then it's like, oh, no, like, and you're, you're like, fighting with the lady like oh no please take my car blah blah, blah. Oh, then, I, I wouldn't look different. at it like that yeah I wouldn't look at it like that I feel like no, you wouldn't so either, I warned right? I gave him a chance I no, gave him like, exception like, no I'm just saying like like maybe that's in his mind what he's thinking is that like oh yeah. you're trying to get out of there as fast as possible while he's in the restroom mm. you know like to get out of there let me go back so um, the check came uh-huh. she put it down I was like oh um, I asked for a, no so I was asking for a split check I was like hey can we have a split check please she came with one check and she put it in front of him I was like no, we're good. And so I, I, I grab him. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, split it with you. Is that okay? And he was like, no, no, like, I don't want you to do that. I'm like, yeah, but I think I have to do this for me. And don't worry about it. Like, we're gonna go get drinks after. You can buy me a drink later. It's okay. And he's like, no, I'm still gonna pay for it. But like, he was waiting for her to come back or whatever. Because when I asked for a check, hey, can I get a split check? And then he came back in the uh, bathroom, and I was like, I purely paid for it. She dropped the check down while he was in the restroom because I told him to go to the restroom because he needed a ego. And then I paid. And then he got mad. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, um, I, th- I think we're going to wrap it up here. Yes, um, <laughs> sorry, it's, it's getting kind of long. But any final thoughts you guys have about this? I'm just going to wrap it up here. I think we had a really good session. Good debate, Melissa. Good. <laughs> I like that. I like when people challenge. No ego. <laughs> okay um we can do one more topic for another video <laughs> yeah let's do another topic next time but yeah. um if not we're gonna wrap it up here and just want to thank the viewers again for watching the controvert podcast make sure to subscribe like this video and then let us know if 
Actually, oh shit, you saw all my stuff. Oh, I, I didn't see. <laughs> all right. All right. Let, it, let us know if you think a trad wife is necessary, if it's ideal for a relationship to be successful. Let us know about that. Let us know also about the things we debated, right, Melissa? To the, the things <laughs> I, I forgot. Yeah. We debated so much. I forget. <laughs> it, was, it was a good session, but there was just so much. Just, just go back. Let us know in the comments anything. Apologize for my scatterbrain. ADHD. <laughs> is panda insecure yeah am i insecure is panda insecure <laughs> am i insecure for not letting girls do only fans let us know in the comments you're not insecure it's a it's, a, it's no just a i don't want to hear from you i want to hear from is panda them. feminine <laughs> <laughs> hey guys it's okay to be feminine okay no. like there's, no it's okay it's so like well yeah embrace it and just women, be yeah. s- Oh my. I don't know. Earlier, when you were saying something about not being feminine, you like put your pinky up while you were explaining something. <laughs> and I was like, that's really interesting. What? There's so what, much. Like this? There's, there's, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you were going like this. And then I was like, that is. So I'm not feminine. I, yeah, you were literally. Feminine. When I told right you. Right after feminine. you said, I'm not feminine, you did. You were like gesturing or whatever, but it was like. <laughs> and I was like, that, that's very interesting that you asked that question. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we get instant replay? I would love to have uh, like one more episode just because you hey, have me, and I don't know. I'm pro- I'm antisocial. I'll probably replay. disappear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, uh, let's oh, just God. clarify femininity. There's like a whole massive spectrum of femininity and masculinity. I'm not. We're not. We're, there's mannerisms at play, personality, and all that. We need more feminine okay. guys to embrace yeah, their Panda. emotions. We, we need more so more <laughs> romantic, <laughs> yeah. romanticize your life or ma- like. Express your thoughts because women like that. Here's my tip: express your thoughts. We love it. It's we think it's no, sexy. It, it's okay. We don't need that sugar coat. I feel like no. many masculinity. And oh god! If you want to debate about that, we got next time, and we will see you guys next time on Controvert Podcast. Hopefully, there's next. Time. That's it. <laughs> 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 Peace out, guys.